Hello dear students, in this video, I will continue with the revision on numbers quantification and numerical applications. In this video, we will see some questions from boats and strings. First, we will see the questions from last year's question paper and sample question papers. And then we will see some more questions. The first question, this was given in last year's term 1 board exam paper. If a man rows 32 km downstream and 14 km upstream in 6 hours each, the speed of the train is. So, here we can see that a man rows a distance of 32 km downstream in 6 hours and a distance of 14 km upstream in 6 hours. So, if we consider the speed of the man in still water as x and speed of the stream as y, then Downstream speed, it is given by distance traveled downstream divided by time. So, it is 32 by 6. Now, this downstream speed is nothing but it is the speed of the person in still water plus the speed of the stream. So, x plus y is 32 by 6. And then upstream speed is distance traveled upstream divided by time taken out upstream. So, it is 14 by 6. We know upstream speed is given by x minus y equal to 14 by 6. So, from this we can find the speed of stream as speed of stream is given by downstream speed minus upstream speed divided by 2. So, it is 32 by 6 minus 14 by 6 whole thing divided by 2. So, this is equal to 18 by 6 into 2. Since here the denominator is 6, we have 32 minus 14 by 6 which is 18 by 6 that is already 2 here. So, we have 18 by 6 into 2. So, 3 by 2 which is 1.5 kilometer per hour. So, the correct option is option B. Now, we have the next question. A person can row in still water at the rate of 8 kilometer per hour if it takes him thrice as long to row upstream as to row downstream then the speed of the stream is. So, here we can see that the speed of the boat in still water it is given as 8 km per hour and it is given it takes 3 times as long to row upstream as to row downstream we have to find the speed of the stream. So, here let us take if we take the speed of the stream as y km per hour and if we take the distance as d km per hour. Here it is given time taken to go upstream, it is 3 times time taken to go downstream. So, time taken to go upstream is the distance travelled upstream upon upstream speed. Upstream speed, here speed of the boat in still water is 8 km per hour. So, upstream speed is x minus y which is 8 minus y. This is equal to 3 times time taken downstream is d by x plus y or it is d by 8 plus y. So, here d and d will go. From this we get 8 plus y equal to 24 minus 3y or we get 4y equal to 16. From this we get y as 4 kilometer per hour. So, the speed of the stream is 4 kilometer per hour. Next question, a person can row a boat along the stream of the river at 10 km per hour and against the stream in 6 km per hour. What is the speed of the stream flow? So, here this is this is very easy. Here downstream speed is given as 10 km and upstream speed is given as 6 km. We have to find the speed of the stream. Speed of the stream, it is nothing but it is downstream speed minus upstream speed divided by 2. So, speed of the stream is 10 minus 6 by 2, it is 4 by 2 which is 2 km per hour. So, the correct option is option B. We have another question which was given in this year sample question paper. A boatman takes half as much time in rowing his boat for a distance downstream than upstream. What is the ratio between his speed of rowing the boat in still water and speed of the current? So, here it is given the boatman takes half as much time to row downstream than upstream. We have to find the ratio of speed of boat in still water and speed of current. So, let us take let speed of boat in still water be x km per hour and speed of stream be y km per hour and let the distance travelled be d km. Then 
the time taken upstream it is given by d by x minus y and the time taken downstream is given by d by x plus y and now they have given d by x plus y this is equal to half of the upstream speed d by x minus y from this we have to find the ratio of x to y so d and d will get cancelled so from this if we cross multiply 2x minus 2y equal to x plus y or 2x minus x is x equal to y plus 2y which is 3y from this we get x by y equal to 3 by 1 therefore x is to y equal to 3 is to 1 so here writing what is given that is the assumption that we make all these carries one mark and the final answer carries one mark so this question was given for two marks next question a boat covers four kilometer against the stream in one hour and covers the same distance in the direction of stream in 40 minutes how long will it take to go 10 kilometer in still water so these are additional questions from ml agarwal book and adi sharma book on boats and streams so here we can uh, see that boat covers 4 kilometers against the stream in 1 hour and the same distance along the stream in 40 minutes. Now let us take let speed of the boat in still water be x kilometer per hour and speed of stream be y kilometer per hour. Then upstream speed is distance by time. Upstream speed is given by x minus y. This is equal to distance is 4 kilometer and time is 1 kilometer. So, x minus y equal to 4. And downstream speed is given by x plus y. It is distance is 4 kilometer. Time is 40 minutes. 40 minutes is nothing but 40 by 60 hours. Or it is 2 by 3 hours. So, it is 40 by 2 by 3. Or it is 6 kilometer per hour. Now we need to know the time taken to go 10 km in still water. So we have the upstream speed as 4 km, downstream speed as 6 km. From this we can find speed of the boat in still water as sum of these two divided by 2. So it is 6 plus 4 divided by 2. It is 10 by 2 which is 5 km per hour. Now time taken to go 10 km in still water will be distance by speed so it is 10 by 5 which is 2 hours so it takes 2 hours to go 10 kilometer in still water next question a motor boat takes 3 hours to cover a certain distance upstream and returns back to the same distance downstream in 1 hour 15 minutes if the speed of the stream is 7 kilometer per hour find the speed of the boat in still water so here here they have given the time taken to go upstream is 3 hours and the time taken to cover the same distance downstream is 1 hour 15 minutes. They have given the speed of the stream. We have to find the speed of the boat in still water. So here let us take let speed of the boat be x kilometer per hour and let the distance be d kilometer. Here they have given the speed of the stream as 7 kilometer per hour. So y is 7 km per hour. Now time taken upstream it is distance by speed of the boat upstream. Speed of the boat upstream is x minus y. So it is x minus 7. Here it is given it takes 3 hours to cover a certain distance upstream. So from this we get d equal 3 equal to d by x minus 7. And then time taken downstream, it is distance by downstream speed. So it is d by x plus 7. From this we have the time taken downstream is 1 hour 15 minutes. So 1 hour 15 minutes, minutes is 1 hour plus 15 minutes is 15 by 60 hours. So it is 1 plus 1 by 4 which is 5 by 4 hours. So from this we have 5 by 4 equal to d by x plus 7. 
So let us take this as 1 and 2. If we divide 2 by 1, 2 divided by 1 implies 5 by 4 divided by 3 equal to d by x plus 7 whole thing divided by d by x minus 7. So from this we get 5 by 12 equal to d by x plus 7 into x minus 7 by d. So from this we can find x. Let us cross multiply 5x plus 35 equal to 12x minus 84. So here 35 plus 84 it is 190 equal to 12x minus 5x is 7x. So from this we get x as 119 divided by 7 which is 17. Therefore, speed of boat is 17 km per hour in still water. Next question, a boat rows a distance of 12 km downstream at 13 km per hour and covers the same distance upstream at 7 km per hour. Find the average speed of the boat. So here since we have to write the steps, it is better to write the steps instead of remembering the formula. If this question is asked in MCQ, then we can use the formula directly. Otherwise, if it is asked for 2 marks, it is better to go with the steps. So here average speed is given by total distance by total time. So let us find the total distance and the total time. So here it is given. A boat rows 12 kilometers downstream and the same distance upstream. So total distance will be 2 into 12 which is 24. And then time taken upstream will be distance by upstream speed. So it is 12 by 7. Then time taken downstream is distance by downstream speed. So it is 12 by 13. So from this the total time will be 12 by 7 plus 12 by 13. It is 12 into 1 by 7 plus 1 by 13. So here the LCM is, it is 7 into 13 which is 91. So it is 13 plus 7 by 91 or it is 12 into 20 by 91. Let us keep it as it is so that we can simplify here. Now average speed is given by total distance by total time. So total distance is 24 and total time is this. So it is 24 divided by 12 into 20 upon 91. So this will go 2 times, this will go 10 times. This is 91 by 10 which is 9.1 kilometer per hour. So this is the average speed. Moving on, a man can row at 8 km per hour in still water if the speed of the current is 2 km per hour and he takes 4 hours to row to a place and return back. How far off is the place? So if it is given in MCQ, we can use the formula D equal to T into X square minus Y square upon 2X. On the other hand, if it is asked for say 2 marks or 3 marks, then we have to proceed with the steps. So let us take, let the distance be d kilometer. So here x is given, x is 8 kilometer per hour. That is the speed of the boat in still water it is given. And then the speed of the current is given. It is y kilometer per hour. It is y which is 2 kilometer per hour. So let us take, let the distance be d kilometer. Now time taken upstream plus time taken downstream. It is 4 hours. So this is 4. Time taken upstream is distance by upstream speed. Upstream speed is 8 minus 2 plus time taken downstream is distance by downstream speed. It is 8 plus 2. This is equal to 4. So from this d is common. Let us take it outside. It is 1 by 6 plus 1 by 10 equal to 4. So here d into LCM is 30. Here we have 5 plus 3 equal to 4 
or we have d into 8 by 30 equal to 4. From this we have d equal to 4 into 30 divided by 8. So, this is 15 kilometer. Therefore, d equal to 15 kilometer. So, the place is 15 kilometer far. Next question, the speed of a boat in still water is 12 km per hour and speed of stream is 2 km per hour. A person rows to a place at a distance of 70 km and returns back to the starting point. Find the total time taken by him. So, here we have the distance, we have speed of boat, speed of stream. Using this, we can find the total time. Again, if it is given in MCQ, we can use the formula directly. If steps are required, then we have to proceed with the steps. So, here we have speed of boat in still water x is 12 km per hour and speed of stream y is 2 km per hour. Then time taken upstream will be and distance is given as 70 km. Time taken upstream is d by x minus y. So, it is 70 by 12 minus 2, 70 by 10 which is 7. 7 hours. Time taken downstream is d by x plus y. So, it is 70 by 12 plus 2. 70 by 14. This is 5 hours. So, total time will be time taken upstream plus time taken downstream. So, it is 7 plus 5 which is 12 hours. Next question, a boat goes 30 km downstream and comes back to the starting point in 4 hours 30 minutes. If the speed of the boat in still water is 15 km per hour, find the speed of the stream. So, the speed of the boat is given, we have to find the speed of the stream, then the total time taken is given and the distance is also given. So, let us take let speed of the stream be y. Here they have given d as 30 kilometer and speed of the boat in still water x as 15 kilometer per hour. Now time taken upstream plus time taken downstream is given as 4 hours 30 minutes. 4 hours 30 minutes is 4 and a half hours. So it is 9 by 2. So this is 9 by 2. Now time taken upstream is d by x minus y plus d by Time taken upstream is d by x plus y. This is 9 by 2. So, from this d is 30, x is 15. So, 30 by 15 minus y plus 30 by 15 plus y equal to 9 by 2. Here 30 is common, let us take it outside. So, 1 by 15 minus y plus 1 by 15 plus y equal to 9 by 2. So, here let us take LCM. LCM is 15 minus y into 15 plus y. So, here it is 15 plus y plus 15 minus y equal to 9 by 2 into 30. Let us take this 30 to the other side. So, plus y minus y will go. So, here we have 30 upon 15 minus y into 15 plus y, it is of the form a plus b into a minus b, it is a square minus b square. So, 225 minus y square. This is equal to 3 by 20. So, this goes 10 and once. So, if we cross multiply, we get 200 equal to 225 minus y square. Or we get y square equal to 225 minus 200 which is 25. So, from this we have y equal to plus or minus 5. We cannot have minus 5. So, y is plus 5. Therefore, speed of stream is 5 km per hour. So, this is the speed of stream. Again, if it is asked in an MCQ, we can use the formula directly and find y. Otherwise, we have to proceed with the steps. Next question, a boat takes 90 minutes less to travel 36 km 
than to travel the same distance upstream. If the speed of the boat in still water is 10 km per hour, find the speed of stream. So here they have given boat takes 90 minutes less to travel some distance that is at 60 km downstream than to travel this distance upstream. They have given the speed of the boat in still water. We have to find the speed of the stream. So let us take let speed of the stream be y km per hour. Speed of the boat in still water is given. It is 10 km per hour. Distance is given as 36 km. And then time taken upstream minus time, time taken downstream is 90 minutes. 90 minutes is 90 by 60 hours. Time taken upstream is d by x minus y minus time taken downstream is d by x plus y. This is equal to 3 by 2. So d is common it can be taken outside. So it is d into d it is given 36 kilometer. So 36 into 1 by x is 10 minus y minus 1 by 10 plus y equal to 3 by 2. So this will go 12. Let us cross multiply. And so let us take LCM. So it is 10 plus y minus 10 plus y upon 10 minus y into 10 plus y equal to 1 by 24. So plus 10 minus 10 will go. So we have 2y upon 100 minus y square equal to 1 by 24. Now if we cross multiply we get 48y equal to 100 minus y square or y square plus 48y minus 100 equal to 0. So here we have minus 100 so the factors are 50 and minus 2. So this is y square plus 50y minus 2y minus 100 equal to 0. So y into y plus 50 minus 2 into y plus 50 equal to 0. So y minus 2 into y plus 50 equal to 0. y equal to 2 or y equal to minus 50. We cannot have minus 50. Therefore, speed of stream is 2 km per hour. So this is the speed of stream. Next question, a man rose to a place at a distance 48 km and returns back in 14 hours. He finds that he can row 4 km with the stream in the same time as 3 km against the stream. Find the speed of stream. So here we have uh, two information which is given. The first is a person can row to a place at a distance 48 km and returns in a total time of 14 hours and then he can row 4 km with the stream in the same time as 3 km against the stream. So using these two details we have to find the speed of stream. So let us take let speed of the boat in still water be x km per hour and let speed of stream be y km per hour. And then they have given d as 48 km. Now total time taken to, to row to a place at a distance 48 km and return this total time is given as 14 hours. So this is nothing but d by x plus y plus d by x minus y. This is equal to 14. So d is common it can be taken outside which is 48. So 48 into 1 by x plus y plus 1 by x minus y equal to 14. So let us take this 48 to the other side here. Let us take LCM and simplify. So x minus y plus x plus y upon x square minus y square equal to 14 by 48. So 7 by 24. So from this we get 2x upon x square minus y square equal to 7 by 24 or 48x equal to 7 into 
x square minus y square. Let us take this as 1. Now, then he finds that he can row 4 kilometer with the stream in the same time as 3 kilometer against that stream. So, time taken to row 4 kilometer with the stream is 4 by x plus y and time taken to row 3 kilometer against the stream is 3 by x minus y. So, from here we have 4 by x plus y equal to 3 by x minus y. Or if we cross multiply, we get 4x minus 4y equal to 3x plus 3y. Or from this we get x is equal to 7y. Now let us substitute x equal to 7y in 1. So 1 implies 48 into 7y equal to 7 into in place of x, we are putting 7y. So, it is 7y the whole square minus y square. So, here 7 and 7 will go. This is 49y square minus y square. So, we get 48y equal to 48y square. 48 and 48 will go. Or we have y square minus y equal to 0. Or we have y into y minus 1 equal to 0. So, from this we get y equal to 0 or y equal to 1. We cannot have y equal to 0. Therefore, y equal to 1 kilometer per hour. Now, moving on to the next question. A man can row 40 kilometer upstream and 55 kilometer downstream in 13 hours. Also, he can row 30 km upstream and 44 km downstream in 10 hours. Find the speed of the man in still water and speed of current. So, similar question is there in the handbook. So, here we have two information given. First, using this, that is using this information on rowing 40 km upstream and 55 km downstream in 13 hours. We have to form one equation in x and y and then Using this information, that is 30 km upstream and 44 km downstream in 10 hours, we have to form another equation on x and y and then we have to solve those two. So, let us take, let speed of the boat in still water be x and let speed of the, speed of the current be y km per hour. So, here we have the downstream time plus upstream time, it is the, the total time. So, we have two cases that is the downstream time is given by d1 by x plus y plus d2 by x minus y. This is equal to the, the total time. So, here first we have Man can row 40 km upstream and 55 km downstream in 13 hours. So, he can row 55 km downstream. So, 55 by x plus y plus 40 by x minus y. This is equal to, it is 13. And next we have, he can row 30 km upstream and 45, I am sorry, 30 km upstream and 44 km downstream in 10 hours. So, here we have 44 by x plus y plus 30 by x minus y. This is equal to 10. So, let us take this as some first equation. So, here let us put 1 by x plus y as p and 1 by x minus y as q. So, that we will have 55p plus 40q equal to 30 then 44p plus 30q equal to 10. Now, we can solve these two equations. So, this let us multiply by 3 and this let us multiply by 4. So, 55 into 3 185p plus 120q equal to 39. Then 44 into 4, 176p 
plus 120Q equal to 40. So here we have minus 11P equal to minus 1 or P equal to minus 1 by minus 11 which is 1 by 11. If we substitute P in the first equation, we will get 55 by 11 plus 40Q equal to 13. So from this we have 40Q equal to 8 or Q equal to 8 by 40 which is 1 by 5. So here let us take this as 1. So from 1, 1 by x plus y equal to 1 by 11 and 1 by x minus y equal to 1 by 5. From this we get x plus y equal to 11 and x minus y equal to 5. x plus y is nothing but it is the downstream speed and x minus y is the upstream speed. Now we can find x and y from these two. So x will be upstream speed plus downstream speed divided by 2. So it is 11 plus 5 by 2, 16 by 2 which is 8. And the speed of the stream will be downstream speed minus upstream speed divided by 2. So this is 6 by 2 which is 3. So we got speed of the boat in still water as 8 km per hour and speed of the stream as 3 km per hour. Therefore, x is equal to 8 km per hour and y is equal to 3 km per hour. Moving on, the next question. So, here a boatman takes two hours for travelling downstream from a point A to a point B coming back to a. If A B equal to 6 km and the water flows in the river at 4 km per hour, find the speed of the boatman in still water. So here the total time taken is given as 2 hours. The distance A B is given as 6 km and the speed of stream is given. We have to find speed of the boatman in still water. So let us take let the speed of the boat in still water be x km per hour. Speed of the current it is given as 4 km per hour and distance d it is given as 6 km. So the total time downstream time plus upstream time it is given as 2 hours. So downstream time is d by x plus y, upstream time is d by x minus y. This is equal to 2. d is common which can be taken outside. It is 6. So 6 into 1 by x plus y is 4. So 1 by x plus 4 plus 1 by x minus 4 equal to 2. So let us take LCM. x minus 4 plus x plus 4 upon LCM is x square minus 16. This is equal. Let us take this 6 to the other side. It is 2 by 6 or it is 1 by 3. So here we have 2x upon x square minus 16 equal to 1 by 3. If we cross multiply we will get 6x is equal to x square minus 16 or we have x square minus 6x minus 16. This is equal to 0. So here minus 16 is minus 8 into 2. So x square minus 8x plus 2x minus 16 equal to 0. So we have x into x minus 8 plus 2 into x minus 8 equal to 0. So we have x plus 2 into x minus 8 equal to 0. From this we get x is equal to minus 2 or x is equal to 8. Now this is not possible. So we have x is equal to 8 km per hour. Therefore x is 8 km per hour. Again, if the same question it is given as MCQ, we can use the formula directly, the distance formula directly. Otherwise, if it is given for 2 marks, then we have to proceed with the steps. I hope this video was useful for you. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. If you find this video useful, share it with your friends. Thank you for watching.